Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 5. Since you are God's dear children, you must try to be like him. Your life must be controlled by love, just as Christ loved us and gave his life for us as a sweet-smelling offering and sacrifice which pleases God. Since you are God's people, it is not right that any questions of immorality or indecency or greed should ever be mentioned among you, nor it is fitting to use obscene, foolish, or dirty words. Rather, you should give thanks to God. You may be sure of this. No man who is immoral, indecent, or greedy, for greediness is a form of idol worship, will ever receive a share in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Do not let anyone deceive you with foolish words. It is because of these very things that God's wrath will come upon those who do not obey him. So have nothing at all to do with such people. You yourselves used to be in the darkness, but since you have become the Lord's people, you are in the light. So you must live like people who belong to the light. For it is the light that brings a rich harvest of every kind of goodness, righteousness, and truth. Try to learn what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with people who do worthless things that belong to the darkness. Instead, bring these out to the light. It is really too shameful even to talk about these things they do in secret. And while all things are brought out to light, then they, their true nature is clearly revealed. For anything that is clearly revealed becomes light... That is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine upon you. So pay close attention to how you live. Don't live like ignorant men, but like wise men. Make good use of every opportunity you get, because those are bad days. Don't be fools, then, but try to find out what the Lord wants you to do. Do not get drunk with wine, which will also ruin you. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another in the words of psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing hymns and praise to the Lord with praise in your hearts. Always give thanks for everything to God the Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wives and husbands, submit yourselves to one another because of your reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as the Lord. For a husband has authority over his wife in the same way that Christ has authority over the church. And Christ in himself, the savior of the church, his body. And so wives must submit themselves completely to their husbands in the same way that the church submits itself to Christ. Husband, love your wives in the same way that Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. He did this to dedicate the church to God. By the words after making it clean by washing in the water, in order to present the church to himself, and all its beauty pure and faultless, without spot of wrinkle or any other imperfection. Men ought to love their wives just as they love their own bodies. A man who loves his wife loves himself. No one ever hates his own body, instead he feeds it and takes care of it, just as Christ does to the church. For we are members of his body. And the scripture says, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and unite with his wife, and the two will become one. There is a great truth revealed in the scripture, and I understand it applies to Christ and the church, but it also applies to you. Every husband must love his wife as himself, and every wife must respect her husband. So the first part of this chapter is talking about Christians living out their lives to show that they are in the light. So that means that we ought to be doing our best to avoid sinful behavior. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect. We're going to make mistakes. We're not free from sin, but we are free from the bondage of sin, meaning that we have the choice to say no. So we need to do everything in our power to do good things and to to be friends with good people. Now, if we are going to spend time with people that are sinners and people that do things that are contrary to God, we not we do not 
conform to what they do, but we tell them the good news and tell them what they could be doing. So we should always be looking for people that need God. So, so we need to make sure that our lives show the example of Christ no matter what we're doing. The second part is toward husbands and wives. Uh, if you're married, um, you should respect your wife and the husband must also uh, respect his wife and the wife must respect the husband. And so the husband is the head of the household and the wife must submit, but also it should be an equal partnership as well. Meaning the husband needs to put in his effort and the wife needs to put in hers. And it compares it to the church because Christ views the church the same way as a husband and wife. So this is what this chapter is talking about. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Have a good week.